What's cracking, Danny? Just trying to tie a trucker's hitch with snowboarding gloves on and it's not really working out. Lacking in dexterity. Everything is for us. So we're trying to work with what we've got and make the best of it. Where are we going? Oh man. Let's take this train over to Arctic Man. Come on, mama. <sighs> Got some frozen toothpaste here. A little arctic. Weather has dominated this thing. It's a brick. Dental health is mental health. Greatest bit in the world, gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> Just stringing our tent with red heart yarn from Jimmy Bean's wool. Tying this tarp down. You know, I really feel like we're missing something today. What about you guys? <laughs> it's always fun and games with these two. But I was starting to get anxious about the competition. So from the tent that we're standing on right now, we drop in, this is about the steepest spot right here. Probably doing about 50, 60 or so, and you get down to the bottom of it, depending on how good your tuck is. And then it just kind of meanders through that canyon for about two minutes. And at the very bottom, we call it the pickup. And uh, from there, your, your sled comes out of a different canyon, kind of drives up right beside you, catches your speed, and hands you your rope. This race hurts your legs. I mean, they are seizing up, feel like they're gonna burst out of your skin. You get to the bottom of the course and you're pretty much hanging onto your boot to hold yourself up and you can't even walk. A course like this takes a pretty significant wax job. Luckily, a couple of my rivals here at Arctic Man, the Holland Brothers, happen to have hearts of gold and let me use their wax and supplies to polish up my board before the race. I don't have all the entries for them in advance. I can't give a list of names to the state of Alaska to see if you guys are deadbeats <laughs> <laughs> or dead girls. <laughs> so what I have to do is, and I have, I have a subpoena they sent me today. I cannot write any checks till Sunday, as, on Sunday. It's probably a week afterwards because if I write you a check and your child money's not there, they fine us $10,000. It's a state deal. If I have your entry form plenty of time, I can send it to them, they can review your social security numbers, let me go. They sent me a list of names today. They're not sure, but they think we have some problems. So they told me back about an hour ago in an email that said, you write one check, get a $10,000 check out. Good thing I don't have kids. Driving in a space, driving in a space, Lamborghini. Driving in a space, driving in a space, driving in a space.